Number 59. A certain nut crunch cereal contains 11.0 grams of sugar, which is sucrose C12 H22O11, per serving size of 60.0 grams. How many servings of the cereal must be eaten to consume 0.0278 moles of sugar? Okay, so what the question is asking is technically they want you to go from 0.0278 moles of sugar, and they highlighted what certain sugar they want you to use. They want you to use C12 H22O11. They want you to use sucrose. And somehow they want you to get to servings, right? So I'll just say servings of cereal. Well, that's crazy, right? We've only been able to get to moles of one compound to moles of the individual atoms or grams or atoms, but never servings, right? But they do give you a nice handy conversion factor in the first sentence. They said that this certain nut crunch cereal contains 11 grams of sugar per a serving size of 60 grams. So immediately you see the word per. Per means division, right? Or a ratio, because a ratio is something over something else, and this right here is technically division. So whenever you see the word per, that means division. It's like a clear, like it's screaming at you that you need to set up a ratio. So what are the two things? What's the A? And what's the B? Well, they tell you that 11.0 grams of the sugar, C12, H22O11, per, so divide by the 60.0 grams of the serving. And that's your serving, right? Servings of cereal. So, let's see. We can use this conversion that we just made to go from grams of sugar to just the grams of the serving size. So that would be like the middleman. I can go from grams of C12H22O11 to the serving size because I know this ratio. And then we do know a conversion between moles of one compound to grams of another compound. So I can go here. So technically this would be a three, actually a two-step process, right? So let's try it out. Start with what you're given, 0 0.0278 moles of the sugar, C12H22, O11. And now we don't want moles anymore, so that goes on the bottom. So moles of C12H22, O11, and grams of C12H22, O11. And what information do we know between moles and grams? By now, I'm just going to extend this. By now, we should know that one mole, one mole of anything equals the molar mass in grams of that anything. And I say X. And X, I mean any element or compound. And also, you should know that where do you find this molar mass? You find it on the periodic table. Now, I did give you a helping hand. These three element boxes are part of the periodic table. So I just put these there for reference. So I'm going to be using these three because it's just carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. So one mole of the compound, because one mole, right, equals the molar mass in grams. You guys should know how to do a molar mass by now, so I'm just going to do the quick hand version, and let's see if we get the same answer. So carbon, it would be 12 times 12.01, plus 22 times 1.008, plus 11 times 16. Now, if you want to use 12 instead of 12.01 for carbon, that's fine with me. Just make sure that the answer is super close. So this we get 342.296 grams of the sugar. And the moles cancel out. Now... You don't want grams of the sugar anymore. You want the grams of the, um, the serving, right? So times by another ratio, grams of C12H22O11 go on the bottom, and grams of the serving, I'll just put that, goes up on the top. And that's the information that they gave to us above. 11 grams of sugar 
per a serving size of 60 grams. So 11.0, actually, oops, it's flipped, just be careful. So 60 gram serving, and serving is up here, so 60.0 for every 11.0. Grams of sugar cancel out with grams of sugar, and now you're left with grams of the serving size. So let's just do this math quick. I'll just put it over here. If we multiply the numerators, 0 0.0278 times 342.296, you get 9.51583 divided by the 11, right? Point zero. So then we just do the division. So I'm just going to 0 0.02 this times 342.296 divided by 11. And our answer should have three sig figs in it. So it should be 0 0.8 Ooh. And this is basically, um, you know, the serving size. So box this answer off. This is the amount of serving that's in the 0 0.0278 moles of sugar. So roughly, I mean, it's roughly one serving size. But the right answer is 0.865. All right? This one was quick and easy, pretty simple. Let me know in the comments what you think. How are you guys doing in the course? Let me know, I'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for, you know, listening to this video. I hope it helps. Um, yeah, I mean, if you want to, you can click the subscribe button. It gets the word out to tons of people all over the world who are using the OpenStax textbooks. And I appreciate that. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the next question, number 60. We're almost there. See you later.